We have breaking election news for you right now. The results of our exclusive Nine Galaxy exit poll. It is the very best predictor of what we will see tonight. The Labor Party to win. Our exit poll is predicting Bill Shorten will be Prime Minister for the next three years. Nationally, our pollsters have found Labor is polling 52% and the Coalition is on 48%. But I, I'm expecting it to fall around 81 or something. I'm basing that on things I've heard from people who should know. That there's kind of a baseline, I think, for Labor of about 77, 78. And then there's a bunch of seats that are in doubt. And even if most of them break the coalition's way, you end up at a low 80s sort of a figure. So that's what I'm doing. This is predicting a Labor Party win. You would expect certainly north of 78 seats for the Labor Party, but somewhere in the 80s. An Ipsos poll that shows an eight-point turnaround in the two-party preferred vote in Queensland, that would deliver quite a lot of seats to Labor. Pretty Could high. the polls be wrong? Do you think the coalition could get up? I mean, I'm asking you. If everybody gets it, um, you know, a three percent margin of error um, on a on a on a 52-48 poll, um, you know, yeah, there, there are going to be questions. We might have to look for a new job on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't think they are. Uh, 86 seats. I said 80, here. just no. to be clear. 86. You're trying to verbal me already. We've just started. <laughs> I heard 86. Did you hear 86? I heard 86. I heard 86. I heard 86. Everyone um, heard 86. I heard 80 because I like to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, no, I'm not. You talk about whether the, the polls are trustworthy. There, there's been a couple of, of, of failures in uh, the, the Trump election and Brexit, but they're, 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 they're pretty good in, in Australia. Uh, but 52 48, Nick Reese is. You know, historically across the last couple of decades would be a very impressive result. Labor in the 80s and the coalition in the 60s. That delivers a result of around 83 seats to Labor. They look at the overall figures at the moment. We've now got 10% of the vote counted. Now, what's interesting is these are projected figures, and at the moment the projected figures just do not look like the opinion polls are published. In fact, they're like the reverse of the opinion polls from earlier in the day to us. But that's what the numbers are looking like at the moment. Um, perhaps all the Labor voters votes voted early, I do not know, but I mean, at the moment, it doesn't look like the opinion polls. The swing is 4% different from the opinion polls. What, what, do you think, time? what do you think is happening? Is there very something at work here that we haven't picked up? I don't know, Barry, but there are some very strange results coming through tonight. But from what I see so far, I don't think the, uh, the Labor Party is guaranteed of winning a seat in or gaining a seat in Queensland. That might change. Uh, but at the moment, it's not there. Like Labor's primary vote in Queensland is 26%. 26%, which is just horrifyingly low. Um, Senator Wong, what do you think? I think Queensland's tough for us. Um, well, and and why, why is it? Well, <clears throat> you know, it, we, there are probably a lot. Herbert in Queensland, here again, you can see a swing very much towards the Liberal National Party there is Longman. Longman in Queensland. And again, you can see here, it's too close to call, but it could swing that way. I wouldn't be ready to, to write off the Tasmanian seats uh, in the way that he has. Let's say, for example, go to some of these seats in Tasmania, where you can see here a Liberal gains one is Lindsay in New South Wales. And again, here you can see it would appear as though the Liberal Party will pick this one up. At the moment, it's very hard to see how Labor can possibly reach government on the numbers we're seeing now. Labor headquarters here, which when we arrived, it was supposed to be a bit of a party, but it's since been a bit funereal. Lots of red wine uh, being drunk at the moment. Not too many smiles in the room, as you can anticipate. Bill Shorten's done as Labor leader, isn't he? Oh, I don't think you can call the election as done. I, I... Without any major change, the coalition is heading towards that, number, ma that magic number of 76. And the Labor Party is going to pull up a long way short of that. Uh, but at this stage, uh, it's very hard to see anything other than the coalition staying in government. It is obvious that Labor will not be able to form the next government. And so, in the national interest, I wish Scott Morrison good fortune and good courage in the service of our great nation.